We are living in momentous times and days where we can expect great things from God and attempt great things for God. It is exciting to know that God has promised, in the last days I will pour out my spirit upon all mankind or upon all flesh. And this is our prayer, O oh God, come upon us afresh and anew. Let your Holy Spirit do a fresh work in our hearts that we may humble ourselves in these days. I am grateful and thankful that the Lord has drawn us closer to Himself and that God's people are responding to the call of the Holy Spirit. Pastor Kawi is here with us today and I want him to share how it is that God is moving in the Middle East, in Asia, in the Philippines especially. Your prayer is, Lord, pour out your spirit upon our nation. That's right, that's right. In Tagalog, uh, Lord, Filipinas naman. Amen. As you have been using Dr. Jose Pascua in many countries like Cuba. Yes. And Rwanda. Lord, and Rwanda, Lord, this time, mm -hmm. Filipinas naman. Mm -hmm. Pour out your Holy Spirit, Lord, in our yeah. country. So that it should begin with our key leaders. So when key leaders meet, yeah. there will be a time to seek God, there will be a time of prayer, there will be a time to strategize so that when these key leaders go back to their respected groups, yeah. provinces, yeah. areas, they can multiply, they can that's bring right, that's right. the visions of what God is mm -hmm. showing unto us. And we would like to see our country a new Philippines. Yes, yes, right. And you know, people sometimes ask me, how do you do that? Well, the, the response to that is from the word. It is not by might nor by power, right. but by my spirit, says the Lord. And we have seen that happen time and again. And I'm grateful that we can partner with our brothers and sisters in the Philippines. And I know that many of them are already or have been praying, have been on their face before God already. That's right. So as we join together, as we learn to love one another yes. in action, yes. yeah, indeed, not just by talking, mm. but by walking. That's right. And so we, uh, together, will see the glory of God upon the Philippines with an outpouring of the Holy Spirit. That's right. And I am going to believe that just like the Word of God says, that God is not willing that any should perish, mm. but that all, all should come to repentance. That's right. And if we could just say, Oh God, you are not willing that any Filipino should perish, mm. but that all should come to repentance. We need to declare that. We need to proclaim that. That's right. And so I am grateful that we can partner together. And okay. the call to every Filipino worldwide is to pray and say, Oh God, right. let your Holy Spirit come upon us as a nation. And then we can also say, Give us our nation for mm. our inheritance. That's right. In these coming days, uh, Dr. Pascua, we are going to uh, email to a number of to the millions of Filipinos worldwide, especially the That's OFW, right. mm -hmm. the Outstanding Faithful Witness. Mm -hmm. We will give them an update through a poster so that they will know what's going on in the Philippines because we need them to be our uh, prayer intercessors. So this is a call to every Filipino worldwide. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And because you were telling me that there are about approximately over 8 million of them. That's right. 8 million Filipinos. Serving. At present. Oh, yeah. that, that is tremendous. That's right. And of course, again, we are focused on one thing, and that is to lift up the name of Jesus. That's right. Yes, because there's only one name. Amen. Above every name. That's right. Jesus. Hallelujah. He is Lord over the Philippines. Amen. Yeah. And He has great and mighty things. That's right. In store for all of us. Amen. So let's thank the Lord and I am going to agree with you, I'm going to believe God with you, mm. that our nation is going to turn yes, right. and serve God. Yes. You know, from the president all the way down to the last citizen. Mm. And that includes cabinet ministers, that yes. includes members of parliament. That's right. Or, or I mean, meaning Congress, yes. senators, and representatives. Government officials. That is governors and mayors, yes. barrio captains, yes. the leaders. Yes. Because I know the Philippines it's a beautiful country, oh. and we have beautiful people. That's right. But I'm challenging each one of us mm. to rise to greatness, Amen. to rise to the call of the glory of God upon our lives. That's right. Pastor Kawi, the summit is just a beginning. 
it just like a launching pad. And because I know that the God has already been preparing you and some of the others there, the things that will be happening now. Give us some few more things in your heart and mind. Yes, that's very good because after the summit, I would say people who came from this summit will multiply themselves that's and right. encourage other young leaders. You know, we have we have actually a problem of our some of our leadership in our country because some people are saying pastors are already endangered species. I some see. people may not go and continue the work of God because of discouragement, so so much failures in their ministry. There's a lot of discouragement. But I believe God is not finished with His plan with His people. We as people of God who desire to see a, a young generation of leaders, we would like to see young pastors this time who can really represent His God, our God, who can really represent our country. We would like to see a, a trained a train leaders who can lead a nation, lead a country. So this summit, I would say, when people are coming back to their respected group, they will encourage their congregation, their organization, to train, to train young generation of That's leaders right. so, so that when these leaders go to another country, they really can stand up, they can really face people like their ambassador. I am glad that you are sharing that because that is the follow-up. And I'm certain that already God has given us some of those leaders that could do the training, right. uh, especially of the younger generation, because there are millions of them. And I'm grateful. But the summit, as I said, is just a launching pad. And then later on, as the leaders go to the different regions to multiply themselves, then it gets down to the grassroots from the top down. Right. This, I believe, I have seen it happen in the former Soviet Union, in Cuba, because it's a move of the Holy Ghost. This is not organized by any one group. This is a work and a move of the Holy Spirit. That's why when we come on our face before God and humble ourselves, then God answers, answers our cry. And the other thing here is uh, this time after the summit, we would see a number of organizations will not be speaking about their, their church, That's my right. church, That's right. my church, my organization. We would see the body of Christ That's as right. the Lord is praying That's that right. we should be one. Mm -hmm. These churches will become involved in every extra activities with other churches. And the people will see that we really love one another. another. And we are disciples of the Lord. And we are going to win them. At this time, they can, we cannot win them because they are not yet convinced. Okay. So our focus and emphasis is... God's people humbling themselves That's right. and then loving one another. That's right. Then from there, we see an outpouring of the Holy oh, Spirit yeah. That's right. and the body of Christ coming together. Yes. And then through that, through the love, then it become, becomes contagious. Yes. It will affect a whole nation. That's right. But thank you for being here. And I. I say God bless you and all the leaders in the coordinating committee yes. there in Manila and in Davao, our Middle friends East. there in the Middle East, and those who are also sponsoring because yes, that's right. we need funds. That's right. So I'm praying that every Filipino, if they could put in even just ten dollars or, yes. or, or uh, twenty pesos, whatever yes. it is yes. that they can, uh, they can invest. Yes. This is for souls. And I'm going to believe God for millions of our people. Millions mm. will literally turn to God. Hallelujah. The whole nation. That's right. Because the whole nation now is approximately close to 98 million. Yes, thank you. Happiness. Yes. Thank you so much for Hallelujah. being here. You're most welcome. God bless you. God bless you. Yeah.